knives that go the mini hatchet. Yeah. Chop up this bit of wood here. The survival knives is uh, leaving. See how it goes. This is a hatchet. I'm gonna give it a bit more of a harder time. Put it on the um, thicker part here. Not bad at all. That is just utterly destroying that heartwood there. Very, very cool. Wow, um, for what it is, I was not expecting such reasonable chopping. It just goes to show how just the physics and the shape of a tool and the direction of energy can really, um, really alter how something works. Very cool little tool. I'm gonna give a bit of a chop in this little branch here with this hatchet. And um, this is all dead wood, so uh, standing dead anyway. So not too fussed about hurting the world or anything like that. Big old dead tree. Um, see how this goes. Right, that's really, really good. Um, yeah, this is really surprising me. I thought these things were just hokey as, like these little mini axes and things that sort of look like this that all started to come out a couple of years ago. But for something that's about as big as holding, say, one of those LMFs I was testing, um, just the way that the energy's distributed into that head is um, quite nice, and the edge is still. I mean, it's not shaving my hair off, but it's still really, really sharp. I'll um, go and get a grand fizz and see how that compares. Alrighty, this is my grand fizz uh, mini hatchet. It's a lighter axe than the Bear Grylls, uh, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, it's pretty good, I mean, but you do pay. You do pay a lot of money for this. Nothing beats the wooden palm smell as a way palm swell as a way to handle an axe as well. I mean that's um, probably a little bit better, but for something that costs four times as much, it's not four times better, that's for sure.
heartwood there. Let's bring that out. Mm. Naked. Grants just did all the work. It's not getting any, <laughs> not getting any, sa uh, any saving by me pushing the branch over. There we go. Jeez, pretty hard stuff in the middle, but for such a tiny little axe. Yeah, Grancis does pretty well. Seeing as this uh, hatchet here has these finger choils that just beg to have you choke up on it, it's still a little bit of carving. Let's uh, test it out first on this ungodly stuff, this glassy, resinous um, wood that the um, other survival knives had a bit of trouble with. Listen to that, it sounds like I'm bloody sharpening on a sharpening stone. Yeah, regardless of whether you're choking up on it, the control definitely is less. You sort of, yeah, when you dig in on stuff, the blade, regardless of how, because it's so thin, regardless of how you're holding it, it does sort of rock back and forth and you do sort of lose it. But this is on this ridiculous stuff, so we'll see how it goes on something a bit more... something a bit more normal. Let's see. The edge has probably gone a little bit, um, little bit dull from the chopping I've been doing with it. And this sort of stuff just begs to be sharpened like this anyway, when you're trying to do your, your stick sharpenings. Which is what you use an axe for. There we go. And it does that terrifically well. Just a little bit of momentum is all this blade needs to really do things for you. However, just sitting around the campfire, having a bit of a whittle, it'll sort of do it, but you won't enjoy it. And what's the point of whittling if you're not enjoying it? So yeah, none of the knives I've tested today, um, the LMF, the strong arm, the bear grills, or this uh, hatchet here are going to put to bed the um, the carving knives of like Mora and things like that. But um, They've certainly had their uses uh, shown in other aspects of uh, outdoorsman ship craftness. <laughs> when I compare it uh, to this Grantsvis mini hatchet, it didn't get the absolute ass kicking that I thought it would. And this is probably the dinkiest of the Grantsvis. This is like a little hobby axe, really. Um, I mean, of course, being a Grantsvis, it's just like scarily sharp, and um, the ergos are probably a little bit better than this, but. In your general sense of the little bit of chopping you're going to do at camp or something, they're about as good as each other. So, um, if you don't have the money to spend on this, which really, who does have the money to spend? If you're going to spend money on a single axe, uh, spend it on a small forest axe that you can use around your home as well. Um, if you're after a little camp hatchet, um, you really couldn't go wrong with this. It's um, providing you're not going to be, you know, saving the world with it. Um, then maybe my testing didn't indicate that you couldn't save the world with it either. It's um, sharp, it's got a decent edge which hasn't rolled yet after a fair bit of chopping. And um, 
its its carving capabilities are you know probably made out to be more than they are, and this hammer pole wouldn't worry too much about including that as a reason to get it. Um, but just as a pure chopper, um, it does quite well. I was really happy with it. I'll put the specs in the description. Um, it is, you can tell what it is from here. It's a small axe, about the same size as a as a survival knife. Just the weights into the blade distributed differently to let it chop, whereas this, the way it's distributed more evenly to let you do everything else. So, um, we won't get too hung up on the specs and the stats. But yeah, how do you stay for the uh, Bell Grylls hatchet? It did really well. Happy with it. Uh, there's no um, no real survival um, sort of add-on bits with this. You just get this um, nylon sheath wherever I put it. You get this nylon sheath that sort of goes on your belt through there. You need to have a belt a bit on the slimmer side to get through that first one there, otherwise it's just that one. Or you could put a carabiner on it and hang it from your belt loop. Something like that would be fine. It goes downwards through the sheath, so you sort of have to go load it from the top. And then you sort of have to make sure it's lined up. I'm not super sold on the sheath, I reckon like a little Kydex number would be, would be ideal, but it's a 40 or $50 little hatchet um, in Australia and yeah, probably way cheaper in the US as well. So. Um, for what you pay, um, you don't expect to get a little um, flash brass and leather grancers type sheet. Um, so of all the little things I've reviewed lately, this is probably the biggest surprise. I consider myself a fairly a fairly keen person with an axe. Like I, I look and talk about them fairly fairly often, and to to not hate this and to actually think it's pretty good is I don't know because it's a fair endorsement. Not to say that I'm the king of all that is chopping, but um, yeah, could do a lot worse. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Ta.